Weather Authority forecast is brought to you by Dorset Ford. 0% for 72 months at Dorset Ford, Marshall, Illinois. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. There's an overcast day. Eh? Looks very fall-like out there with those clouds. We'll break the clouds down a little bit as we go through the overnight hours. So, Graber Post Buildings Weather Camp should be partly cloudy by the late show. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. Cool start to the week, but big warm-up late week. But a trade-off rain and more rain. Right now in Terre Haute, cloudy. 50 degrees, dew points at 34. Winds gusting. Oh, right now the average is 21 out of the west-northwest. Been on the breezy side. Pressure rising a bit from 30.10. No rain here at the studios. We didn't expect to see a lot of rain around the valley. Hit or miss stuff today. A hundredth of an inch at Bloomington. Some trace amounts here and there. Danville, Illinois, seven hundredths. So not a lot of rain, but a very breezy day for Mother's Day. Low temps were probably not done with these. We record to midnight, and the temps have been steadily falling since that front pushed through. 48 so far, Paris, 50 Terre Haute. 47 Vincennes, Washington at 46. High temps, we hit 60s down to the south. 64 is there in Vincennes and Washington. 62 at Terre Haute, 57 over at Mount, uh, Mattoon and also at Effingham. Right now it's 51 in Paris. Go over to Greencastle, 49. Bloomington's checking in at 52. Newton, 51 along with Effingham. Casey, a cooler 50 along with Marshall. Peak wind gust today. We had 33 here at the studios. It was a breezy day. 40, the peak wind gust in Terre Haute. 41 at Mattoon, so it was hold on to your hat weather out there. These winds coming down out of the northwest, west-northwest. These are wind speed averages from the airports, over 20 in a few spots. So breezy tonight as well with gusts to 30. Metro view will start to break the clouds down as we go through the overnight hours. End up partly cloudy, rain-free, I think, from this point forward. It was spotty shower activity today. In big picture, you can see the bulk of that precipitation moving on north. A little low-pressure system up here. That's why we have those strong winds. We are, however, pulling some moisture back around there. So you might get a stray shower here or there. Shouldn't amount to much at all. You can see locally on the satellite radar, that's trying to push into the area now. But I do think as that pushes off, that low pressure, we'll see rain move off. And dry in the Dorset Illinois Doppler radar. And as we look at future cast, that keeps a hit-or-miss shower in here at least for a couple of hours. Main thing I think tonight's going to be the breeze. And then Tuesday, or Monday, I should say, I don't think we'll see any precip out of that system. But as we get later into the week, we're talking some rain moving in, maybe a lot of rain. Rainfall over the next 48 hours, if we do get anything tonight, it's going to be very light in nature. We're talking hundreds of an inch. Next seven days, it's when we get late week, that's when things are going to really ramp up. Wednesday night rain moves in, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Showers likely with some thunderstorms possible. Things start to taper off as we go into Sunday. So it looks like a very wet end of the week, end of the weekend. The trade-off, we're going to see the warm weather return. Blue shading, the 50s, 40s, that pushes off back to the 70s. Nighttime lows in the 60s there late in the week. So big change in the weather. Now, for tonight, 37 on the breezy side, cooler. Again, maybe a hit or miss shower here or there. Winds will gust to 30. Then tomorrow, 57, cool day, partly cloudy. Winds lighten up a bit. They'll be out of the northwest at 10 to 15. Looking ahead, rain gear required. From Thursday right through the weekend, it looks likely we'll see showers with a few storms. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, things lighten up a bit as we go into Sunday. But look at the big warm-up, 70, somebody will hit 80 a couple of days. And nighttime lows, late week, very